looking at the new aerospace inspired walker called the Motivo Tour. It allows you to get close to everyday tasks and offers a chance to add a little personal style as well. I'm here with the creators of the Motivo Tour. It's Jennifer Harris and Jeremy Canopo. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Okay, so before we get to this guy, I want you to tell a little bit about your stories. You know, why you were so passionate about making a walker that's more accessible and a little bit more personal for people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, for me at least, I mean, my, my late father had a uh, struggle with ALS and he had to use kind of this basic rudimentary walker and my late grandmother as well. And I was just really disappointed with how medical looking and, and unsafe it was for them. Yeah, well this one is, it's something that a lot of people have seen before. It's even got the tennis balls at the end, mm -hmm. which a lot of people have seen. Why do you feel that this is unsafe? Well, I mean, this is, it doesn't have a lot of extra stability. It's a little rickety with yeah. all the parts. Um, and then when you get to something like this with the seat in the way, you, know, you you can't walk upright because the, the seat gets in the way of your knees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And how about for you, Jennifer? Well, for me, um, my mom needed to use one of these when she broke her ankle, as as did my grandparents. And so for us, this was very very personal. And uh, we both uh, have over 20 years of product design experience, and we thought we could put that that experience to use to to create something better for folks. So let's talk about why this is better because mm. I'm not I, I, this looks cool. I mean up yeah. close I'm gonna have to turn around at some <laughs> yeah. point once we get a shot. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the front design and why this is personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah so I mean part of the, the reason for doing this one of the reasons for doing this was we wanted something that didn't make people feel like a hospital patient mm -hmm. um, whereas a lot of the, the designs that have been the same way for 50 plus years you know, people don't want to feel like a medical patient when they're out walking around. They're, they're a, a real person just like everybody else, and they like cool stuff. So mm -hmm. that's what we wanted to do. So the front is really cool. The back also has a great, like, like a, a holder for whatever you're drinking. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so there's a tray here with, uh, with uh, cup holders. Oh, look at that. Up. There's your storage door in here so you can carry things. No way! And then when you do need a seat, it just pulls up and out like that, so you've got to a place to rest when you need it. That is fantastic. Yep. So have you guys tried this out on loved ones? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've um, done interviews with um, both current Walker users as well as healthcare professionals. We've probably done over 300 hours of interviews and, and testing with various prototypes along the way. And this is essentially the culmination of all that work and all that input from those those individuals. What are you holding there? Why is this piece important? Yeah, so this is this is one of the panels, and mm -hmm. we get we often get asked, well, how much does it weigh? And so if you can see here, this is very very light, yeah. and so the, the it sounds a little hollow. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's exactly what gives its structure and the lightweight properties of, of this. Well, mm -hmm. this is very light. I mean, this is, I want to say it's almost as light as e any of these. Mm -hmm. And so yep. that's something that's important to you because of mobility issues. Is that why? Yeah, it makes it more, e makes it easier to maneuver, but also when you're going to fold it up and, uh, and put it in a vehicle, um, it, it makes it easier to carry as well. And what are these for? Are these yes. for your wrists? Yeah, this is part of the uh, the brakes. So um, if you want to slow it up a little bit, you can just put the brake on a little bit, and it keeps you keeps it from running away like on a hill or something. That is so neat. And I, I bet that people feel just a lot of personal pride when they have something that's a little more unique to them, makes them feel comfortable. And this is kind of a conversation piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, they can get a, a range of graphics from flowers to flames to American flags and, and uh, change them out as they want. That's great. Okay, so people can order these and they can learn more about it on your website? Yep. Yeah. yeah, so if they go to motivolife.com, they can order the product right now. Um, we're just about going through our manufacturing and launch, and so they can get a really good rate of over almost $200 off our, our what will be our retail pricing. So um, it could be a great gift for Mother's Day, which is coming up, um, and you can print out a nice card that we have available on our site as well. Or if you just really believe in our idea and want to see, see this um, you know, come to market, uh, you can contribute smaller amounts and get some really cool rewards, such as helping to fund a Motivo tour for a vet. Very great. I think and you guys need to go on a Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> and it's made here in Wisconsin. All right. Versus all the other ones are made overseas. Very local, really neat, lots of cool gadgets, very helpful. Thanks, you guys, so much for being here. Thank you so much for having Thank us. Thank you. Really Thank appreciate you it. Much. We put that website up for you. I'll just mention it again. It's MotivoLife.com.